Thank you for tuning in to My Magnum Opus Gaming. For this video, we have a top 10 list of most expensive signings at the Barclays Premier League so far in this summer transfer season. Just something to remember, most of the transfer fees are undisclosed, so the inf only information on the amount is based on unconfirmed reports. Grabbing number 10 is Jordan Ibe. We've all noticed the transfer fees go way up this window, as many teams are dead set on bringing lots of new talent to their club. Bournemouth, besides being low on the table last season, are no exception. They paid 15 million pounds to take the young attacking mid off Liverpool's hands. Number 9 is Vincent Jensen. Although 22 year old signed for 340,000 pounds at AZ just 12 months ago, Tottenham paid 18.5 million pounds for him. He should be good competition for Kane since he's been named Van Nistelrooy 2.0 and has scored plenty of goals for his former club. I hope I pronounced this right. Godo Alden is number 8 on this list. Manchester City's Pep Guardiola buys him from Dortmund for 21 million pounds. The midfielder is Man City's first summer signing followed by the Spanish forward Nolito. The 25 year old is also a German international despite injuries in the knee before the Euro. 7 is Vinaldum. The Newcastle attacking mid and Netherlands international has been scouted by all the top clubs, but Liverpool went out in signing the 25 year old. The transfer fee was reported to be 25 million pounds. Mkhitaryan grabs number 6 on this list. Jose Mourinho signed the Dortmund player for about £26 million. He played against his former club recently in the International Champions Cup and lost terribly 4-1, to one, although Mkhitaryan did score Manchester United's only goal. Once regular season comes around, the club is sure to make waves with Mkhitaryan as its centerpiece. Manchester United also signed Eric Bailey from Virgil in Spain's top league. The center back also played for the Ivory Coast as they won the African Cup in 2015. The move cost 30 million pounds. The new Chelsea manager also has a couple signings of his own so far. The prize midfielder Conte from Champions Leicester City cost 30 million pounds. Chelsea also hopes to sign Merez, but Chelsea most likely won't sell. Bashuai also makes the move to Chelsea for about 33 million pounds. The young striker did well in the Euros for Belgium, but the manager might have overpaid, unless he proves to be his weight in goals. Mane takes number two on the list. Southampton's Mane cost Liverpool quite a lot of money, approximately $34 million. This has made him the most expensive African player in history. Now for number one. Arsenal fans just saw their first glimpse of shock in the MLS All-Stars game. The Swiss center midfielder cost Fanger a whopping £34 million. Pounds. Shaka was one of the first signings on this list, showing Wenger is definitely ready to shell out the money in order to win the title this season. Now that's it for the top 10 list, but here's 5 names that could top this list if they make it to the Barclays Premier League in the summer transfer window. Number 5 is John Stones. Man City are looking to spend $50 million on Everton center back. Number 5 is Julian Draxler. Arsenal would have to pay about $55 million on the German international and young Wolfsburg striker. Number three is Musa Sissoko. Many clubs are looking to grab this player from the recently relegated Newcastle side. The fee would be around 63 million pounds. Number two, Alvaro Morata. Real Madrid just activated a 23 million buyback clause from Juventus. Although he wants to fight for a spot at Real Madrid, the club might just be looking to sell him to either Arsenal or Chelsea for up to 67 million pounds, a huge profit. Now number one of players that would top this list that they are sold, is Paul Pogba. We've all heard this, Manchester United might be buying him, but whoever does would have to pay at least a hundred million. So I'm pretty sure he's just going to end up staying at Juventus. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. Just in case your club hasn't signed anyone yet, I wouldn't be too worried. I recently read an article that reminded me that there's over 50,000 hours left in the summer transfer window, and plus if your team has already signed one person, they're probably going to sign more. So there's plenty left. Um, there's plenty of players left. Plenty of time left. We're definitely going to see a lot more transfers this summer. So um, stay tuned. And if you like this video, please think about subscribing, leaving a like, leaving a comment. It really helps this channel out. And I'll see you next video.